welcome back to the channel this is mami oche again so for today's video i'm going to share another fun activity na pwedeng pwede nyo ring i-try at home with your kids what i have here is a 3d dimensional geometric solid shapes at may kasama siyang laminated nomenclature cards it's actually a part of montessori activities so tamang tama siya if you are practicing montessori approach sa bahay with your kids at for advice ng mga Montessori professionals, you can introduce geometric solid shapes to kids in the age of three and a half pataas. The Montessori geometric solids is one of the most fun and fascinating of all the sensory materials. These 3D dimensional shapes really beckon children to explore them. The question is, ano nga ba ang purpose? Yes, mukha siyang fun, but what are the children learning through their use? At paano siya gamitin? First, I introduce muna lahat ng 3D shapes kaya with names. Using charts and flashcards with names on it. Next, I allow her to have plenty of time to look at and feel and explore the solid shapes in her hands. And then eventually, identification of the 3D shapes by touch alone. My goal in this activity is for you to be able to familiarize with all the objects around us come in various shapes and sizes. That she will be able to tell and differentiate the shapes of the things that she's touching, holding, or yung mga bagay na nahahawakan niya, nakikita niya, and the things that she use in a daily basis. And that's the purpose of introducing Montessori geometric solids is to develop their stereognostic sense. It is the ability to identify objects by touch. In a Montessori learning environment, Montessori sensorial materials and activities help children develop and refine their stereognostic sense. Wow, what is this? Um, and what is this? This one. Then I have asked Ria to look for objects around a room that are examples of its shapes. This is actually fun and this part is Ria's favorite because she would be able to tell and identify the shapes around her, her toys, her stuff, almost everything. Very good. And then, triangular base pyramid. And then, ovoid. And then, cylinder. Very good! 
Good. High five. Mm. And on this part of our activity, I blindfolded Ria. Don't pick. It's a simple test kay Ria kung uh, ma-identify ba niya ang bawat uh, geometric shapes na hindi niya nakikita but nahahawakan niya lang. What's that? Oh, touch mo, touch. Oh, one more, one more. A cone. Huh? A cone. Cone. Last one. What shape is that? A cube. <laughs> this wooden 3D geometric solids, I actually open-ended toy. Meaning, you can utilize the use of it for as much as you can. Pwede rin silang gumawa ng castles from it. There are so many activities available online. Kung ano pa yung mga pwede nyong paggamitan ng 3D wooden uh, geometric solids para ma-maximize at ma-utilize nyo yung use niya, hindi lang sa activity na to. Just in case you want your little one to use much bigger sizes ng geometric solids at my color, merong available online sa Lazada or Shopee. I think it's blue. At mas maganda talaga siya. But also, it's a bit more expensive. Yung sa amin, I bought from Lazada for only 194 pesos lang. Just in case na gusto nyo rin ng mas mura. But same purpose. Ayun nga lang, less aesthetic. I'm going to put na lang the link down below in the description box. So, ayun lang. I hope you learned something for today's video. Bye!